When you work with the Blackmagic Cloud in DaVinci Resolve, and let's say for example you want to just for one video upload the original, but for the rest you want to work with the proxies. Or the opposite, maybe that video you want the proxies, maybe that one you want the originals. That was not possible in the past, you could only decide either all originals or all proxies. We have now a new feature since DaVinci Resolve 20, selectively choose which one you want and I will show you this now in this video. So for that purpose I just opened a Blackmagic Cloud project. So when you're here in your project library and instead of being here local or network you can come to your Blackmagic Cloud. If you have a Blackmagic Cloud account you can use the Blackmagic Cloud to now store even files on the Blackmagic Cloud. And how it works you can even have proxy files and original files so it makes it easier for your team to work with proxies. So that's not new this is just one way how you can work with it. For example if I have my my desktop, my laptop here, and I have my iPad here. This is a very good way to seamlessly work in between the projects very fast. So just using the Blackmagic Cloud. So also there is the Blackmagic Camera app. And in the app, you can connect to your Blackmagic Cloud account. And every time when I record a video, I can even say him to upload, not just the original, I can even create a proxy and upload the proxy immediately. To make it then easier for your editors, let's say you are on the set, you're shooting something, and then immediately the editors back home, they can edit on the proxy file, which is what my faster. But the problem is if you create a new project, let's do this here, new project, when you are in the cloud you will get this window here where you can do a couple of more settings like the name, choose the location that is now just for the, the Blackmagic Cloud stuff and then here share project with multiple users. You can activate this to have multiple users work at the same time and then here synchronize storage in Blackmagic Cloud. Uh, don't sync the media, sync only the proxies or sync proxies and the original. So if you use sync proxies only, you only see the proxies and not the originals. If you sync proxies and originals, all of your originals will be synced both ways. So if I put an original here on my iPad, it will be synced to the cloud. If I have something on my cloud, I will download the original too. So the problem with this is, what if you only want to use one or two files with the original and the rest you just want to work with the proxies. And for that they have now this new feature which is now called Selective Sync Media Originals in Proxy. So how this works, I already created a project here, Cloud Files. I have two files that I recorded with my Blackmagic camera and I uploaded the proxy on the original to my my cloud. I created this new project and my setting is that it's only proxy media. So now I only work with proxy media. So but what if I, for example, let's say here on that iPad, I'm now using a different file, let's say for example this file here, add, and I have this file in here, and to create a proxy for example, because that file doesn't have a proxy, I can come here to the edit page and now select that file, right click and say here proxy media, generate proxy media. So until now this is nothing new, this is for example also how you can improve the speed of your iPad. I have a couple of videos here on my channel where I talk about improving the speed for the iPad. If your iPad has problems with um, preview, then the fastest and the best way is to always generate proxies and work with the proxy media. Okay, so now it's done. Now I have both files. I have the proxy proxy file and I have the original file. You can see this with this little icon here and you see also these icons if you put it onto the timeline. And here on the top you have this little icon. This is all not new, I'm just explaining that for people who have never heard that. You probably already know that but you can always change between proxies. So now it prefers the proxies. So if it found a file that has proxy, now it will use the proxy file. If you want to use the originals, you can use this. So the reason why I had to do this, with this setting with this Blackmagic project, now only the proxy file will be uploaded. And in the most case, this is what you want. But what if now there is a colorist somewhere in Australia and he needs the original, but just that one file. Now I can here right click and say, sync original media. Then only for that one clip, I can now select that and it will upload here. By the way, you have, if you are in a Blackmagic Cloud file you, and a project, you can always see here the cloud uh, settings. You're connected and everything, blah, 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 how much storage you still have and, and so on and so on. Now that one original will be uploaded. So I encountered a little kind of confusion when I used the camera app from Blackmagic. I created a video and I, like I told you, I created a proxy and an original and I uploaded them both. And then I had these two files here. And when I just imported that file, that is the proxy file. This is not the original file because it only downloaded the proxy file. But when I right click on this file, the sync original media is grayed out. But what if I want the original? Because Blackmagic, with this feature, you can not just upload the original, you can also download the original. Why does it show me that gray? And the solution for that is, the reason is, because at the moment in my project, it doesn't know that this is the proxy file. It's kind of stupid because it downloaded the proxy file, but what you have to do is, you have to right click on this one, 
and then say here proxy media, relink proxy media. When I work with my cloud projects, at the beginning, I can give it a folder here. And this is now my folder for my pro cloud project. And here I see my cloud files and I see my camera uploads, which was my camera. And then here I see the proxy. And I have these two files and I added these two files, but it didn't know that it was a proxy. So this file is a proxy. Now it has a proxy. Now the original is missing. So now I can right click and say here, sync original media. And now it will download the original media from the Blackmagic Cloud also here to my iPad because these files were never on my iPad before. It was only on my iPhone. I only shot on my iPhone. I created original and proxy on my iPhone and uploaded it to the Blackmagic Cloud. So this was just one of the many new features that we got with DaVinci Resolve version 20 here on the iPad. I created a complete video breaking down all of the features because there's a couple of features that you definitely should know about because they can make your editing work so much easier, so so much faster definitely check out the video here i will link this one here and if you found this helpful hit like subscribe by the way i'm daniel and on this channel it's all about davinci resolve and final cut pro and yeah see you in the next video bye i'm daniel